Hello everybody and welcome to my 6 Advanced Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to make uh, pivot charts so there's there's two ways you can do this um, you can either highlight your data, go to data pivot table, pivot chart report and you can just create a pivot table next A to J, good, next and a new worksheet and then you can fill your pivot table in so I'm going to put year down the side and sales cost in the middle and then I want it to be the sum of sales costs so let's just go to sum on here um, if you're unsure what I'm doing here then go back and watch the uh, last three tutorials to go through how to make pivot tables um, then once you've got your pivot table in it with the with the data source source you want um, then it's as simple as just clicking on the chart wizard button up here and you'll notice that it will open up a new uh, tab for you with a, a chart sheet containing a chart that links through to the pivot table and the advantage of this is as your data in here is updated you can then refresh the the pivot cache in the pivot table um, which will then in turn update the graph so any changes to make here you can then refresh in here and, and make the, uh, the, the the graph um, up, up to date um, this that's come up here the, the pivot table um, the pivot table toolbar I would I would keep this because it's quite useful um, you can refresh the data using it um, and you can uh, you can do things like so here you've got the the actual buttons themselves um, if you go on to here you can hide them um, and unhide them so if you don't want people seeing that, that it's actually got those there and you don't want them playing around with them then you can hide and unhide them there um, and you can you can do the refreshing um, so the other thing you can do in here is if you click on the show field list you can still actually add things in so you can if you wish just drag things in and same as before you can put them on the right hand side and they'll go above obviously this has got quite quite uh, close together so let's change it to just five years um, possibly even less than five years let's show, let's show you three years so here you can see that it's categorized it so you've got the dates and then it splits it by year and then it's going to do what the data does for each of those if you go back into your sheet you'll notice that it's already categorized them in the pivot table for you as well so whatever you do in here affects what this looks like and whatever you do in here affects what this looks like they're, they're linked together now you can do the normal things you do with uh, charts so you go on to right click on on the on the chart and go on to chart type so you can change what type of chart it is so let's say we want to do a line or an area um, so let's do an area one for now so let's put that there view the sample okay and then you notice that it changes to an area graph um, and whenever you refresh it, it will stay as the same graph type um, you can change the color of the plot area so I normally change things to to white you can also change the color of the actual data um, same way you can have a normal graph um, what you've got to be careful of though you notice that I just refreshed data um, and the colors of the graph have gone back to the default color so that's um, an issue that you, you get with pivot charts is they'll always go back to the default Excel color the way to get around that is to go into tools, options, colour. You'll notice here that you've got chart fills and chart lines. Um, so if you go onto these, you can go onto modify, change the colour of them, click OK, and you notice then that every time you refresh it, it goes to that default colour that you've chosen. So that's tools, options, colour chart fills and chart lines so if we change this to a line graph 
Okay, you'll notice that it's dark blue. Um, if I go into tools and then options, then chart lines, so that's the one it's selected at the moment. If you have more series, then it's pink, yellow, blue. We can change these, so that's actually have, um, let's have a green. Okay, okay, and then it'll change to green. So that's the best way of dealing with the, the colors on your pivot charts. Um, because if you do them manually yourself rather than using that then the, the colors aren't going to save for you whenever you refresh it um, so that's how you use a a, a pivot chart um, if you're not confident with using charts in general then go back to my intermediate tutorials where I go through how to use all the different graphs um, so that's it for pivot tables now. Um, uh, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial when I will be showing you how to do mail merges.